today on Running to Him. Evil cannot overcome us if we are reverent of God. If you are joining us in going through Proverbs, today's reading is Proverbs 19, verses 13 through 29, and we will concentrate on verse 23. Proverbs 19, 23 says, The fear of the Lord leads to life, so that one may sleep satisfied, untouched by evil. When we reverence something, the meaning of fear in this verse, we treat it with respect and diligently seek to protect it and our relationship with it. As many of you know, my maternal grandfather was a sea captain on a full rig sailing ship during the late 1800s to 1905. He experienced an incredibly rough and dangerous life on board these ships, but probably the greatest danger a sea captain can get into is by being overly confident and not treating the power of the ocean with reverence needed to keep himself and the ship safe. My great-uncle Fred, my grandfather's younger brother, took command of the ship, the Willard Mudget, in 1904. The ship left Philadelphia with a load of coal and headed south towards the Caribbean. It was never heard from again. The ship sank somewhere off the coast of the Carolinas when it ran into a hurricane. Now, I obviously do not know what happened and why they sailed into a hurricane rather than seeking shelter elsewhere. But because they didn't respect the power of the ocean and the weather, lives and cargo were lost. The same thing can happen to us if we are careless in our relationship with God. We could find ourselves in a very bad situation and causing harm to Christ's name. Now, the last year saw several pastors and prominent church leaders fall because they didn't fear the relationship with God enough to not do what they did to bring scandal to the church in Christ's name. Peter writes in 1 Peter 5, verses 8 through 10, Be sober of spirit, be on the alert. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. But resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same experience of suffering are being accomplished by your brethren who are in the world. After you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself perfect and confirm, strengthen and establish you. If we are properly fearing God, Satan will be prowling around, seeking some way to destroy us and tarnish our relationship with Christ. But through a strong relationship with God, by relying on the Holy Spirit's power, we can resist the temptations and claim victory. Just like the sailors of old, we need to be aware of the climate around us. We need to say when struggles might come and prepare ourselves through prayer and a gathering of believing friends around us so that we can weather the storm. Our reverence for God will protect us if we will submit and repent. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.